Consul Mark Antony declares your contest for control of the Aventine is finished. All violence will cease. He can declare what he likes. It doesn't make it so. As killer of Erastus Fulman, I claim his captaincy of the Aventine Collegium as my rightful spoil. The Aventine is now mine. You can't do that. Yet here I am. You can have this old rat's nest if you like, but you've got no men. They're all dead. All run away. Oh, fine men. Rome is no shortage of criminal scum. Maybe I'll take some of yours. Brothers, remember the lady. We all know of you, Lucius Varinus. We know you're a man of gravity and we're duly respectful. You would do well to return that respect. I can't do that, but I can give you coin instead. Once order is restored, all collegia will receive a monthly stipend of 5,000 denarii directly from Consul Mark Antony under my supervision. In return, he expects you will limit yourself to your traditional liberties and malpractices, nothing that will disrupt trade or politics. Anything else? Naturally, should there be civil violence, you and your people will be called upon to defend the rights of the consul. I require your acknowledgement and acceptance of these terms. 5,000 denarii. That's not bad. In cash or grain. As you like. Are you women? One bark from this red dog and you bend your neck. What's your name? Gaius Ignis Acerbo. Captain of the Oppian Colleges. Tell us, why would sane and respectable men like ourselves do business with a poor, curse-hounded beast like you? Guys, Ignis is so. You ask a fair question. Those of you who will not do business with me are my enemy. And so? They will die much sooner than they expect. Steady on, remember blessed Concord, no menaces. Concord. Truce is raised, brother. Sir, will you do business with me? 